Welcome back to another episode of Espros Outdoors, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about ice fishing line. And I'm gonna try to explain everything in under two minutes. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, please go do us a big favor, hit like and subscribe, but without further ado, let's get right into this. To be a little bit more specific with actual like brand wise, I will have the links to my actual like brand suggestions down below. So I'm gonna try to explain this all in our two minutes and so I stick to it, I'm gonna start a timer right now. I only have two minutes, so I'm gonna have to talk kind of fast. You have four options for ice fishing line that you can use. You have braid, you have mono, you have fluorocarbon, and you have copolymer. So starting off with monofilament. Monofilament is great for beginners. It, uh, you can get it really cheap. You can get a ton of it, you can get it in bulk, and it's just a really good all around line. It doesn't really have a ton of downsides, other than the fact that it doesn't have great sensitivity, copolymer. This is a mixture between fluorocarbon and monofilament, and some of the pluses are that it has uh, some really good sensitivity without the line twist that normal fluorocarbon has, but some of the downsides is that it doesn't quite have as much sensitivity as like fluorocarbon. Next, on to braid. Braid has a ton of sensitivity, no line twist, but the problem is that it freezes up. If you are outside of a shack or whatever, braid is probably not the best option. I would go with something like a fluorocarbon or a monofilament, but if you're inside of a shack, braid will be very useful if you pair it with like a liter of like monofilament or fluorocarbon. Going into fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon's quite a bit more expensive than like monofilament, but it's a lot more sensitive, but it also has a quite a bit more line twist and can be a lot trickier to actually put on, so I wouldn't suggest it for like beginner beginners. It takes a little bit of experience to put on unless you went into like Fleet and Farm or had them put it, spool it for you. Even then it can have some issues. What pound line should you use? That is a very, very big question in the entire fishing realm. Like everybody has a different answer for you, but if you're just starting out, I think we can all sorta kinda, at least kinda agree that four pound test it is one of the best and then once you have that you can kind of adjust whether like this line is just a bit too heavy for what I use I want to go down to like a three or two pound or man this line is just not heavy enough I need to go up something like a six or eight pound so I'd say start out with a good middle ground which is four pound test and then you can kind of judge where you need to go from there I don't know if I hit that two minute timer hopefully I did if I didn't I at least hope this video was helpful for at least somebody out there if it was, please do us a big favor and support us by hitting like and subscribe. Also comment down below any questions that you might have, as well as I have one question for you. What's your favorite ice fishing line? Comment that down below. But without further ado, God bless. We'll see you in the next one.